Hey guys, I am super excited because I just updated to iOS 16 right there, right there. And I've been waiting for months for this update and it's finally here. And we're going to talk about the cool features that I'm interested in. There's a lot of new features, so it's pretty overwhelming. All right, so I updated my phone during class and here's my reaction right now. I didn't include any audio because I was in class and the audio can pick up the class meeting. So I tried the best that I could to see my excitement, but you can see in my face that I was so excited for the update because I have been waiting for months. I even had to make a video of me making iOS 16 lock screens and I had to download the beta because I couldn't wait any longer and it may have almost broken my phone and almost had a panic attack. So we're going to go through some of my favorite features that people are most excited about and honestly my number one feature is my absolute favorite is the lock screen customization. This is not obvious since a lot of people are excited about this. You can now put widgets and customize your own lock screens and you can do multiple ones. Right over here so we, we just hold down. So you just hold down here and then I, these are all my presets so these are my wallpapers. So we're going to do add new. So you, so you can see that we can do emoji, weather, astronomy, and more. And I'm going to give you an example on how to add one. So if you followed my iOS 16 lock screen video that I made, uh, we're going to go to photos. We're going to be using that one. So we're going to be using the, uh, <clears throat> the ice skating one that me and my brother in France. Whenever you have to adjust the wallpaper, you have to pinch like, like that. You see it? Pinch like that so we, we can change the choose the the what is it called the date we can choose the calendar but i want to keep it like that we can also customize the font of the 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 clock we're gonna do this one actually no it's so overwhelming because there's so many fonts uh <clears throat> i'm gonna go for this one and you can change the color of what you like but this one is set to the color to match and then we're gonna add some widgets so since this will be kind of like my widget when i'm going out so i need to see all the important information when i'm going out so i'm gonna go and put on the weather the weather is important there aren't much any available widgets yet but there will be coming soon for all of the apps that you downloaded so we have the weather we're gonna do the battery and we're gonna do my uh the fitness no actually no not the fitness uh, i want to do battery and i'm gonna do my calendar so let's put calendar right there or reminders i don't really know there's so many stuff and it's very overwhelming <laughs> and that's my best work not really but we, we kind of did good so i'm gonna add this and you can set this as a wallpaper pair and you can customize the home screen so you can customize it to, to the original you can blur and unblur it you can do color gradient or your own photos but we're gonna do for the original and we're gonna blur it so that it's more aesthetic so we're gonna select this photo and we're gonna swipe and then it's like that it's pretty cool i love it so much the one thing i'm gonna miss though is the default ios wallpapers did anyone love those wallpapers i did <laughs> not to worry though since i found a google photos website and that's full of all of the default ios wallpapers i'll put a link in the description for you guys to check it out i also love how the notifications are in the bottom right now because this is literally where your thumb is right now so you literally just have to do that and it's covered by the widgets right there so we could just scroll up and we could see all of the things all of the notifications yeah i'm hiding that <laughs> live activities are also a cool thing i still haven't ordered food to see this but using a timer or playing music is kind of like that so i'm gonna play some music on my spotify we're gonna play some all too well because we love all too well okay so it's now playing a song and then we're gonna go to the notifications and you could see that it's right there look it's right there the song is playing i'm gonna pause it uh so you can see right there it's playing and then if you press on the if you press on the picture it goes bigger so it's really good to see like that it covers your wallpaper and now we're gonna test out for the timer let's set a timer for 30 minutes scroll down and you can see that your timer is right there you can pause it and that clears the timer so it's pretty cool for live activities i'm really happy that's a thing now so fo focus filters are also a cool thing if you set a focus filter on a lock screen it automatically enables the focus you made here's an example sorry we're gonna be making a new wallpaper 
And then the photo we're going to be using is the blank space one, my parents' business. So we're going to use this one. And then we're going to, I'm going to add the widgets that I normally put in. Because this, this is going to be the do not disturb one. So we're going to do, we're going to put our reminders in. And then we're going to put on our, I guess, that one. Actually, you know what? Let's go ahead and put in our event. And let's put in our weather. Yeah, let's put in our... Yeah, I guess weather can work. Or maybe... Uh, I don't know. Let's do weather. Let's do the temperature. Right there. Looks good. And then we go let's change the font color. Let's do it like that. It's kind of like uh, the font of my, of my mom's business. We're going to compare it to the white. What we're going to do, we're going to add this. We're going to set this a wallpaper pair. And then you can see it says focus right there. So we're going to go ahead and press focus. And then you could select what type of focus you want. I'm going to do do not disturb. And then once I have this focus enabled, it will automatically open up do not disturb right there. I'm also going to do one for the sleep. So we're going to do one for astronomy. So astronomy is pretty cool because you, uh, it, asks for, it asks for your location to see where you are. So right there, Philippines. Uh, you can do earth you can do the moon moon detail or the solar system i want to do the moon so we're going to go ahead and put an hour alarm here we're going to put our clock in uh there you go let's put in wake up let's put in actually you know what no let's let's do the small one let's put in our uh calendar i'm gonna put in the calendar right there and then we're gonna put in our weather that's i know that there's like there we go there's a moon here but it's so small i want the big the big one i think there's a preset here okay yeah there's a preset right over here so that's pretty helpful so we're gonna do we're gonna get rid we're gonna do this one let's do this one sundown sunrise and sunset there we go i feel like my phone's overheating i think it's lagging a little bit oh yep it's lagging a little bit oh no and then we're going to do, we're going to get rid of this one. And then we're going to do calendar. Sorry, my phone's lagging. Oh no, not good. Then we're going to do our alarm. I also like to see the battery of my Apple Watch whenever, whenever I go to bed. So I'm going to do that one. And we're going to do moon detail. That looks pretty nice. I'm going to set this as a wallpaper pair. Oh, I really have so do not disturb. <laughs> we're going to do sleep. And then whenever I do this, it automatically opens up my sleep. But I may have to turn off the sleep dim thing so that I could see the moon, which is pretty nice. I like it. Moving on now from the lock screen, you can now edit and unsend a message to iMessage. So here's an example I'm going to send to Mel. So you can see here that I said to Mel, Hi Mel, I'm testing out iOS 15, which is wrong because we're in iOS 16. So you can now do, you can now edit and then you can now do iOS 16. And then you can now unedit, un unsend a message. I'm gonna be like, oops, wrong send. <laughs> Sorry, he's messaging me right now. Oops, wrong send. Now you can now undo a send, which is pretty nice. Actually, she saw it, but it's fine. So experts say you only have two minutes to unsend the message. Before it was 15 minutes, but now it was two. Also, if you edit a message, other people can now see the unedited messages. So, you, uh, which is pretty ironic, which is right there. You can now mark messages unread, which is helpful for other people. I'm going to unread this message right here from Adrian. So I think it's right that one. There we go. So it unread it there. So that's pretty nice for people. There's some new features in the mail app, which you can now you can now schedule a specific time for that mail, which is helpful, <laughs> helpful for other people for business mail. Since I don't really send mail, I just check my mail. <laughs> It says right here, what's new in mail? Send later, schedule messages to be sent at the right time, set reminders for emails you want to get back to, and you can now undo a send. There's also some new things for intelligence, which is live text for video, and you can now lift a subject from the background and lastly convert uh, currencies and translate languages easier. I don't think these features are available on the iPhone X since I did some research, which is sad, but I'll be getting a new phone soon so I can finally use live text. And I feel like a lot of people saw the examples of it. So yeah, in the mail app, the hidden and recently deleted are now locked in your own privacy. So you just need your face ID or touch ID to open it. So you can see right there, it's now locked. And if I press it, press recently deleted, it's finding my face, but you can't find my face. So it's gonna 
trying to find my face. <laughs> Next feature, which is amazing, is that you can see the password of the Wi-Fi you're connected to. All you have to do is go to settings, then Wi-Fi, click the info button, and then click on the password tab to see what the password is for your friends to connect. Alternatively, if your friend had it, has an iPhone as well, you can turn on Wi-Fi and Bluetooth and connect automatically. But if someone is using Android, you can use this if you don't remember your own Wi-Fi password. Now, lockdown mode is something that I really hope I don't have to use. What happens there is that you completely lock down your phone as a security precaution, either the risk of being hacked or targeted. Most message attachments other than images will be blocked, link previews will be disabled, incoming requests like FaceTime calls are blocked, and you won't be able to use your phone with a wired connection or accessories, which sounds scary since a lot of people have so much data and information on their phone. And if you are in this situation, the health app has support for medications now, you can now Take a picture of your pill and put the details details in it and it will remind you when to take when it's time to take your medications this is really helpful for elderly people or anyone who is sick in general and i love how it's a feature here obviously i'm not sick but i'm going to show you guys it's right over there if you just scroll down it says set up medications add a medication then you just put in your medication stuff i don't want to use this one right now <laughs> now the last feature that that we have is my absolute favorite well, I did mention I love the lock screen, but I'm more into this actually. Battery percentage on your phone. You can now see your battery percentage on your phone without having to swipe down. Battery. And then right there, it says battery percentage. Turn it on. You can now see your own battery percentage. You guys can't see it, but it says 48 right there. And I am infuriated because it took such a long time for apple to make this because it would have been so helpful but now i'm here for it and i'm happy for it i don't have to swipe down every time could just see that number right there on my phone and that is all for the ios 16 video let me know what your favorite features are i couldn't state down all the features since we would be all day <laughs> uh but i've been loving the update though if you guys want to see more videos of tech stuff let me know in the comments down below i enjoy talking about this a lot and yeah thank you all for watching give this video a like if you enjoy it subscribe turn on the bell to keep updated from our videos my name is wamdeguzman and i'll see you all later bye